Miss Joy Doreen Bira. Now, there's a lot that's going on across the continent, and either you've read and watched uh, some of the top stories across Africa, and uh, today we'd like to focus more on uh, event artists across the African continent. And in studio, uh, we've got two artists, and uh, one of them is called Muli, and the other is called Roland's Tiberusia. So we're going to be speaking to them about what exactly event uh, artists do and who exactly they are, how beneficial is uh, is it when being an event artist. And so we're going to try and look at some of the art pieces that they've done. Uh, some of them can draw pieces in as little as five minutes and some 10 minutes, some could be 15 minutes. It depends uh, on how busy they get or what it is that they're drawing. So we'd like to meet them. Uh, Roland Tibirusia is, uh, Tibirusia, yes, is from Uganda, and Muli is from Kenya. So he's Masika Muli, right? Absolutely. Yes. So what exactly do event artists do, if I might put it simply, Roland? OK, to, to me, an event artist is, is the one who paints before a big audience mm -hmm. and shares an expression, depending on the particular event, either it's a celebration or capturing the mood of the the event. Mm -hmm. That's how I would define that. And how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for the last five years. Where I do it before, maybe on events, especially mm -hmm. concerts, celebration, or mm -hmm. even burial ceremonies. Burials? Yes. So you draw the dead, or what no, exactly I just do paint you do? I <laughs> uh, depict the essence of what is happening, mm -hmm. sharing moments with people around, celebrating life, lives spent, you know, I mean, lives spent well in any way. Okay. That's how I do it. Interesting. Yeah. So when did you start doing this? I began it maybe way well back when I was uh, at, at my university. That's when I tried out the event kind of Where is that? painting at the Macquarie University. Mm -hmm. That's in Uganda? Yes, in Uganda. Okay. And, and since then, how has your talent grown ever since? Because I'm thinking if you started it in your first year at campus or at the university, there's, there's a journey that you've gone through. Can you tell us about that? Okay, uh, mine has been a, because I, before I joined university, I used to practice. Mm -hmm. And then when I got an opportunity to be at university, then I had to diversify because mm -hmm. I'm dealing with portraiture, I'm dealing with uh, these expressions, but more conceptual. All right. Where I have a community philosophy that I paint with other people mm -hmm. and engage them a bit. Right. Yeah. So you've done Kenya at 50. How long have you been in Nairobi again? No, I've been in Nairobi, I mean, since oh, Jubilee time. I've been coming around doing projects around different uh, regions in Nairobi, different you know, events. Right. Like the most recent was the Kenya, we were celebrating art at 50 at the Sarit Center. Mm -hmm. That's the one I had an expression of interacting with the canvases and painting before mm -hmm. that audience that came to see the exhibition. So tell me, uh, what does Muli do? Musika Muli. Muli is my, exactly. my colleague in the business and he's really aware about whatever I'm working on. Is. Oh, we, okay. we try to look for opportunities to express ourselves uh -huh. using canvas. Right. Uh, if you look at this piece, it's, uh, we did it last week mm -hmm. and we had uh, the pleasure of some of the guests sign on it. Mm -hmm. Most notably is uh, the First Lady of Kenya. Oh yes, I can. I can. Mm -hmm typically notice that. Yes, and uh, Bob Colimo Grace. Uh, hey, there are more important people. There's, yes. there's one gentleman here called Kaigua. Yes. I think I know him. He's a very um, in technology survey uh, guy. And there's so many people I can notice. And how long did this take you to put together? Um, Aside from all I, the I, I took my, like uh, two hours mm -hmm. to put it together and when it was open for the guests to be putting signatures on. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. tell me the story around this piece. The story is about celebration. When you talk about Kenya at 50, it's a history that we are trying to archive mm -hmm. and share moments uniquely at Sarit Center. Mm -hmm. uh, what you see is a shield. I mean, it's typical, it's obvious Kenyan. Yes. And when you talk about a 50 years, a jubilee, it's an expression that by bringing us together in a collaborative mood. Mm -hmm. I'm from Uganda, I yes. do projects here in Kenya, but I would want to celebrate with the Kenyans mm -hmm. and the whole of Africa, whoever, I mean, all the countries have been having jubilees, I've been trying to do something, even I've done it previously in Uganda. All right, so for so someone it's, it's, who has never been to mm. uh, be an event where event artists like you are, 
they would probably want to know what exactly is this, you know, like there's too much going on. So for somebody who doesn't even yes. know what this, this even mean, there's so many uh, uh, signatures there. How exactly would you explain to them about event uh, artists and what they do? Okay, what one member could say is a, is, a, is a piece of work that is done on an event. Mm -hmm. And then the guests, the people who are witnessing this kind of engagement, right. who having an experience, mm -hmm. would participate by adding a signature to be part of the canvas mm -hmm. as much as it's progressing. It's always done there. Okay. And that is how I would explain it. So this is Kenya at 50. Yes. And uh, everything explained in here and people who have signed yeah. over there are people who um, are trying to appreciate the work that you do. Yes. Okay. So what else have you done? Okay, I've uh, done, uh, here in Kenya, I've mm -hmm. done many of those portraits, like the recent one of the Ali Mazui. Uh, I, I did the painting. Do you have it here? Yes, I do. Can we take a look at it? Yes, we can. We can. Okay, so I'll, I'll be pushing to show it maybe later on. Okay, maybe let me just uh, share more of those particular ones. Okay, anyway, while while we get that piece in the set, uh, I would also like to let you know that you can uh, you know take part in this conversation. Use the hashtag Africa Speaks, and we'll be able to share this conversation. If you have any questions uh, for Roland and uh, his business partner, mm -hmm. who is uh, Masika Muli, you can sure send us those questions or tweet me at Joy Doreen Bira, and we'll able we'll be able to share those uh, questions that you have. Now, usually, when you have uh, you know this type of of art. People think that it is very lucrative, usually because of the kind of people who come over mm -hmm. uh, to witness, you know, certain events. Yes. So, how exactly does that go? Maybe Masika can tell us about uh, that. The essence of people putting their signatures on the canvas, for example, uh, a piece like this is a souvenir. Mm -hmm. It had captured the mood then, and such a piece you can put it in your office. Uh, maybe it can be put as up as a souvenir mm -hmm. for the event. Mm -hmm. It can also be given away as a prize. Mm -hmm. You can even auction it. We have done that severally. You can auction it to the highest bidder right. and it supports, supports a cause. All right, we're going to be talking about auctioning a little later. But from your experience, how has the journey been? How lucrative has it been? And what do you think uh, about young African event artists? who are getting into or who are, who are already into this, this business? Okay, I might say the, the journey is not smooth. Mm -hmm. It's trying out, it's creating art for, for, for the market. Not, you know, I'm saying it right, that it's creating the, 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 the market for the art, not mm -hmm. art for the market, because mm -hmm. majority of these creative expressions are not appreciated, right. especially in our environments at some point, mm -hmm. like in our local communities, because they look falling at some point. But we're trying to uh, really share it clear, even to the young ones, that it's trying your, 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 your creativity and share it with people and engaging more people to get to know about this. Mm -hmm. Like these platforms of TV, I think it's easier to share it and you're, you're communicating that there's something happening. All right. So that is it. All right, we'll be taking a, sh a short break in, in just a while. But when we come back, we're going to be talking about uh, what exactly art means in Africa and also uh, you know how exactly he does it and how you can get to do it uh, you know just like he is doing it so be sure uh, to share your views with us here Africa Speaks is the hashtag so we're going to take a short break and we'll be back I guess when we come back we're going to go through all of the other art pieces and maybe if he has time he can draw us something in about five minutes and uh, see how that goes Welcome back. This is Africa Speaks. Remember, we're using the hashtag Africa Speaks, and you can share your thoughts, views on what exactly uh, we are doing here. We are speaking to event artists, and they're telling us exactly what they do. So uh, we have Roland's Tibirusia. <laughs> Yes, and he's from Uganda. And at some point, I actually get the feeling that we probably don't really understand what exactly event artists or artisans do. And uh, he's here to show us more about why you're focusing more in Kenya. We haven't seen a lot of outside Kenya, maybe something happening in South Sudan. But then uh, the question is right now, um, how do you perceive uh, event artisans across Africa, not just you know, in Kenya or Uganda? Okay, I think uh, it's more of a, 
the particular events that are happening. Mm -hmm. Because if it's jubilee here, Kenya is so much that is happening, and the, the vibe is really warm that mm -hmm. there are events happening here. It's the same approach. If it's happening in, in Uganda, we're there. If it's happening in in Zimbabwe, in Botswana, we are there. Right, and because yes. you know, Africa has just is about the same age. You know, when you yes. go to most African countries, it's either 1962, 1963, 1965, mm -hmm. or 66. And um, let's just say Africa is at 50. Yes, and yes. Uh, for most African countries, there's a way in which they celebrate. Do you bring that into your art pieces? Yes, I would want to say it this way. I usually want to paint a message of hope, mm -hmm. and depending on the colors I use. In the expression, like when I was sharing this particular one, mm -hmm. these people who came around and were interacting were asking me questions like, what is this about? We talk about Kenya at 50. Mm -hmm. Put a gun mm -hmm. on. I say, no, I can't put a gun on my painting. I would want to use a paintbrush to communicate maybe mm -hmm. a message mm -hmm. as an activist for social change. and. Maybe uh, ideas that would be shared. Right. And one of the ways, just like you say, this particular one, it's, it's a statement that I was sharing with the Kenyan community and say, you know what, at 50, mm -hmm. let's be hopeful. And many other people who are sharing, asking, what about this? They will say, I would want to see peace in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So that's how I usually want to depict that in the interactive mood because my work usually is interactive. Right. Yeah. And uh, you actually have specific clients. Yeah. Tell me about them. Okay, I work with institutions, uh, corporate companies, mm -hmm. and even schools who commission me to do this. And when it comes to uh, such kind of events, I work with the cultural organizations that run uh, events. Like uh, when I'm here, I'm working mm -hmm. with the Go Down Arts, the Corona mm -hmm. Trust, who would want to really welcome my art and incorporate it in their assignments. So those are the people who have the art business as event artists. Right, yes. so what are you drawing for us today? Today, I'm, I'm, I want to just do an expression, mm -hmm. a quick one, just a painting. Right. Because I was creating something like this with the other children, but I would want to add something on it. Okay, specific. now you need to face the cameras. Okay, because fine. Because let me have my brush. When you show them thing. your back. We're yes. Africans, come on. Let me have the, the brush. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, as they give you your brush now, uh, you said you've done Ali Mazri as well. Yeah. Is that at his, at his barrier? Yes, or at, at his barrier. I did the Ali Mazri. Mm -hmm. Which is, uh, uh, which is uh, a piece that I created, mm -hmm. but uh, archiving that event, because it was celebrated, there was a symposium, mm -hmm. and they were saying uh, something like, this is a great African scholar, and I was trying to agree with that kind of uh, expression, and I painted that his right. event. Yeah. Okay, all right, so what are we drawing today? No, yeah, I'm just trying to, I'll even just give an opportunity to paint something, oh, but no. I'll, I'll, I'll be creating. I wouldn't know what to do, but I, maybe the best I can do is try to figure out the map of Africa. It's okay, you can't create which it. Which is actually something I hope I can do, because hosting yes. an African show and I'm not able to draw the you map of Africa it. would be very um, embarrassing. <laughs> you should create it. <laughs> Let's see yeah, how that brush. goes. A big brush. It looks like something, a half dress. So let me see. Let me see how, uh oh. Let me see how that goes. Um, okay. This looks Let's like use Brazil. A big brush. Okay. <laughs> it looks like Brazil actually. It doesn't, it doesn't really depict Africa. If I may do these. Okay. Um, then let's see, where is Kenya? Um, Kenya is somewhere <laughs> around here. Is it? Did I do it right? <laughs> I think I tried. And let's just imagine that this is West Africa where, <laughs> you know, everyone no longer flies to, well, not everyone, a few because of Ebola. paranoid people <laughs> no longer fly here. I think, and, I think, uh, I think uh, in, in re reference to that, this yes. you made a statement, uh -huh. and it's, uh, you're part of that event indeed, just like you've added something on, okay. on canvas. Ah. So now what do I use to... To sign. Sign up, yep. <laughs> There's a marker in the back, <laughs> can't you see? Okay, there we go. 
I don't know if I've actually drawn it well. It feels like there's something missing here. Oh, you've created it. Have I? Does yeah. it look like the map of Africa? You've created <laughs> it. Okay. It looks like a star. Oh, no. <laughs> My cameramen are lying to me. <laughs> okay. Mm, so... So on the empty canvas, just like we created this, that's uh -huh. how we achieved that. Okay. You know, in a similar way, I engaged some guests who were painting, mm -hmm. and we kept sharing a moment, adding it up. Mm -hmm. So it sums up very many ideas for many people who were at that event, mm -hmm. just like we're sharing it now. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, you I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I am getting there. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's doing this very poor work. I don't know, it's the, you're doing it right. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. All right. So if this is where Ebola is, mm -hmm. maybe we can educate some people and tell them that uh, Nigeria is somewhere <laughs> here and not somewhere in the middle. I, I've, I've, I've seen, you know, a mm -hmm. map on CNN that was telling us that Nigeria was somewhere. Uh, you know, where Niger is. But anyway, um, out of all this, how beneficial has it been and how lucrative is it? Are you paid for all of this? Yes, I, I usually do I, uh, particular assignments mm -hmm. on commission. Mm -hmm. You can pay me to do it, I can do it. Then usually I use this kind of creative uh, works to auction and then later get commissions off that. Right. So that's why I, I get the money. So speaking of auctioning, um, what is the least and the most that you've gotten out of it, if you're okay to talk about that? Okay, uh, I think the, the, the least, mm. okay, the, the least, maybe the max, but the highest I've really auctioned the piece is like 15,000, mm -hmm. thousand dollars, right. which, which was raised to, to build a school by, for the African Children's Choir. Mm -hmm. So the other ones, for the last time, a couple of uh, two, three years, I've raised more than 400 million mm -hmm. for different charities. Mm -hmm. Different charities in Mombasa, in, in Kampala, in, in Kigali, different of those I've raised. That's so, the list. I mean, I've most. just summed up, but yeah. the highest of one piece of this size, yes. that's, that's the highest I've done so that's far. That's the highest you've yes. done. Interesting. Yeah. So what is this? Okay, this is a signature, mm -hmm. and it's part of uh, what I'm creating. Because the easier way to tell a story, mm -hmm. I begin here and the dot. It begins in Africa and it spreads to the rest of Africa. Mm, okay. Yes. All right, and uh, what is the rest of this? This is something that, uh, that one of my other people who came around, children were playing with it and they have added it, and it's still continuing traveling different places. Mm. So that's why I wanted to paint something, and now that you're part of this history, as we celebrate Kenya at 50, but it still is traveling and it will be speaking more and everyone who adds it will just create value for it. All right, so yes. how many parts of Africa have you traveled to to do the same uh, uh, outside of East Africa? I've been to South Africa, mm -hmm. uh, Botswana, Zambia, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Tanzania, Burundi, Kigali, mm -hmm. Uganda, Kenya, uh, uh, those ones. Well, Uganda is your home country. <laughs> yes. um, have you tried West African countries? No. You haven't? I haven't. Okay. Yeah. And which are most of the topics that you are called to uh, certain events? Are there specific? You know, you've talked about uh, the charities and all that, but yes. are there cultural events? And if there are any, which yes. ones specifically? Okay, ma majorly those ones have been, which have been going on have been cultural festivals, mm -hmm. where it's music, like the Baimba Festival, where people gather and want to do their music, and I'm painting that expression the African drums, the back cymbals, if mm -hmm. I mentioned. Mm -hmm. But it's usually it's a, it's a statement in a sense that uh, people are having a moment of music and I'm archiving, I'm documenting it with a painting. Because the ma majority of the uh, canvases I've done are on events when they are, when they are singing or mm -hmm. they're having a, a kind of uh, expression. All right, now let's talk about the auctioning and uh, deeper yes. Yes. into the auctioning. Um, at what point do you feel like this piece deserved the price that it actually went for? I think uh, at when, when it mentions of uh, the time itself, mm -hmm. now it's the time, maybe because it's the season of the 50 years for Kenya mm -hmm. and the many hands that contribute to it. Maybe it would be concerned and you can really share it. But 
always I get a chance when it's a particular event, like how we are hosting maybe uh, the, His Excellency to, to be, 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 just give, a, give it a price and the rest can go on. Mm -hmm. That is how I've been sharing it. Right. But there's no right time for auction. Auctions are always on. Even now we can auction on TV. Oh, yes. okay. I wish we'd open the lines, but I think we're out of time to do that. Yes. Uh, starting to auction and, you know, do all of that. But then speak to the young people out there who would like to do exactly what you're doing. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, for a specific cause, like me, I'm painting. Mm -hmm. I would want to speak to the young people that let, let them keep trying to do some of their, their expressions and then share with people. Because you can't be in your studio and you're doing something, even if it's a drawing, try to share it with your friends and talk to them and tell them that, you know, this is something very important. Mm -hmm. So keep creating, don't lose hope. I know sometimes it's not about money, it's about the love for something. Right. Yes. Okay, I, I don't know if I could allow one of our camera people to come and take part in this, you know, draw something. Uh, I'm seeing my friend on on uh, one of our cameras that is simon i mm -hmm. think he can come and draw something as we look yeah. at some of the responses uh, that are coming through twitter so maybe we can just take a look as you also continue to draw i don't know what else you're going to draw for us I that we create. can actually uh, see so simon please come take part in this um, very prestigious <laughs> <laughs> prestigious beat here as i go through some of the tweets uh, Simon, what are you drawing for us? Mm. Oh God. Okay. Let's just take a look at some of uh, the responses coming through. Um, and you see. Okay, I hope that is not uh, the Simpsons, <laughs> Simon. Because that would not be good. Um, well, let's go through some of the tweets that are coming through. Um, Africa speaks about Ebola using artistic drawing with a Ugandan artist. This is a creative way uh, of expressing social insecurity. And also Stephen is saying that artist, and kindly if you could just, uh, you know, not show our viewers your backs, that would be a very, Sorry. <laughs> a very good fine, way of fine. doing it. Yeah. Um, so... Stevens is saying, the artist, nice trial. How much does he charge for training and how much is a painting? Now, this is nice to see a heavily... Okay, I'm going to skip this one, Martin Mwenda. And Collins K.E., nice show, Africa Speaks. And uh, we're also having Winsy Joseph who is saying, make sure that they draw the event going on there in the studio, please. <laughs> and uh, we also have another coming in from Kuri and Musa who is saying, um, Africa Speaks appreciating art, looking great, well, in hot red, thank you. And uh, we're also seeing one coming in from Hell Kate, who is saying, I always look forward to this show. Well, thanks a lot. And uh, 28 November Baby, that is at Eric Tenani, is saying, event artists doing a great job, honor them. And, uh, well, we are honoring them now in studio. And we're having Francis who is saying good work. It's through art, humanity can understand others with any pro without any problematic kip. And well, uh, hashtag is Africa Speaks. You can continue to tweet us. If you have any questions, you might as well let us know about, about that. Now, um, Roland, for the time that you've been in this industry, yes. what are some of the biggest lessons you've learned as we wind up? Lessons? What are some of the biggest lessons you've learned as an artist? Okay, the biggest lesson, maybe two or three uh, specific, is the, the, the kind of art that I've been doing has helped me to create like a value-based kind of uh, network mm -hmm. where people really get interested in my work and they want to really identify with it. Because we keep sharing a canvas, keep uh, trying to uh, export our energy to mm -hmm. create causes mm -hmm. and then engage people. All right. Even presidents, heads of states, cultural leaders. Mm -hmm. So it's just that kind of expression that has created it. Right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yes. anything else you'd like to add as we take this? Okay. Uh, one more to add is that this is very, uh, uh, very important that when I came here, we're running with the, the, the Rafa Eretz Creative International. Mm -hmm. It's an idea mm -hmm. that we are sharing with the, the community here. Mm -hmm. So we'd want to say that 
let's do it. I mean, it's keeping the network, and then maybe you should share with us on Facebook and follow us. Uh, the website is on Rafa Eretz International. Mm -hmm. There's so much that we can accomplish. Those people who need whose comments are coming in would want to keep in touch and share more. All right. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Roland. We do Welcome. appreciate the time you've taken to speak to us and to let us know what event uh, artisans do. That is very, very okay. appreciative. And for those of you who are watching, I hope you've learned something. My name is Joy Doreen Bira, and let's keep the tweets going at Joy Doreen Bira at KTN Kenya and the hashtag Africa Speaks.